What's up, Rutgers Nation? This is your favorite defense lineman, number 50, Julius Turner, and I will be your host on this week's Rutgers Football Story. Now in trouble, now he's going down. Julius Turner took him down from behind and slammed him to the ground. A sack for Turner. We're coming off a of bye week, so instead of showing you highlights from a game, we're gonna show you highlights from the first half of the season. Plus, I want to introduce you guys to somebody who's very important to the program, director of player development, Demir Shaw. Right, and I tell them all the time, their coaches are going to coach the technique. Coaches are going to coach the things that they should be doing schematically. All right, but I'm going to stay on them about their effort because at the end of the day, if you're not giving great effort, then you'll never reach your full potential. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the Rutgers football show. Yes, sir. Let's go. A lot of enthusiasm, yes, sir. a lot of energy. Let's go. Go, 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 go. So we got to live. Challenge is there for coaches and players, all of us together. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be fun. And we need to be a part of it. Top, always. Hey, Mom, look, I'm hosting a TV show. Never would have thought, but I'm doing it. Let's go. You're watching the Rutgers football story. Go Blue! In addition to the highlights, features, and behind the scenes assets, I want to introduce you guys to one of my teammates, Spotlights. Enjoy. Takes the snap, laying it up the middle. Laying it to the goal line, he's in! Touchdown, Johnny Langan. Johnny Langan. Wayne, New Jersey. It's gonna be Rutgers in the red zone, baby. Running right, off tackle right, pushing. Go line, touchdown! I started football at a really young age. My dad had a passion for the game growing up. It's an exhilaration, you know? I mean, this kid lives for football, and uh, he has such passion about the game. Um, I love watching him, and uh, love watching his team. When I decided to transfer, there really wasn't no other choice for me. I wanted to come home and, and represent my state and be home with my family. Up the middle, and Johnny Football's got the first down. It's great that they give him a lot of nicknames like that, because then that means he's doing something good, and hope to see him uh, make a few touchdowns. I'd love to see it every which way. Passing, running, catching, any which way, I'd be thrilled. Langan. Big body just goes right downhill. It's just fun to be an overall football player. You get to learn and be part of all those little nuances of the game. I wouldn't like it any other way. Flying and pushing, going right to the goal line, he's in. That's a Rutgers touchdown. They know it's coming, but they can't stop it. Flying it himself up the middle for the Rutgers touchdown. Just go straight, big man. <laughs> just go straight. <laughs> We're screaming, we're cheering, we get goosebumps. I mean, it's just so amazing to watch him do what he does. He's been doing it for so many years. He has such a passion for the game, and I just couldn't be prouder. An easy touchdown pass for Johnny Langan on that little forward toss. And Rutgers off to a great start. I want to be remembered as someone that every time I got on the field, I left it all out there. Rutgers up 14-0. I represented the state of Rutgers the right way. Go get it, Johnny, go get it. This year, let's, let's go with Johnny touchdown. Line into the goal line, he's in. Run straight, big man. <laughs> Run straight. Touchdown, Rutgers. Are you On the banks of the Raritan, the gears of progress turn. Powered by a willingness to stand for what's right, by gaining ground in the race of our lifetime, and by ensuring every step we take includes our responsibility to the future. Wherever the human race moves forward, you can be sure there's someone there, pushing, learning, persevering. Because progress isn't just made, it's earned. Rutgers 
football story. Yeah. Instead of highlights, we're going to show you guys some of the best plays of this year so far. Lang it himself at the middle for the Rutgers touchdown. Just go straight, big man. Let me see. Uh, my forced fumble against Northwestern, or my sack versus Syracuse, or the sack versus Delaware. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're gonna show y'all plays that everybody made all this season. Here's Pacheco. They said he's elite and catching it out of the backfield, and Pacheco muscles his way in for six. Um, I really enjoyed Giovanni's touchdown versus Syracuse. Federal to throw deep downfield. It's Haskins inside the five, and he's down near the goal line. Touchdown, Giovanni! It was a critical moment. We needed a touchdown to go up in the game, so that was very big. So shout out to Giovanni for that. His number 52 is the only retired number in Rutgers football history. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric LeGrand. Rutgers punter Adam Korsak, one of the best in the nation. I have a punter that can basically put the ball wherever he wants to. It's Korsak. Korsak, again trying to place it. Coverage is there. Did he save it right up the one yard? Give it to him. Unbelievable how he just flipped the field. Guys miss. James Williams, his punt is blocked. It's blocked by Rutgers. The ball is loose. Max Milton blocked it. And the Scarlet Knights have got it at the 18-yard line. The block party is back, baby. Got his red roll. Fakes the throw. Takes off off the middle. First down and more inside the 25. Tucks it down. Does he get out the end zone? No. It's a safety. Two points on the board for the Scarlet Knights. Noah drops the throw. The blitz is coming. He's got time. He locks it up deep downfield. Brandon Sanders has got it. And he will go the distance for the Rutgers touchdown. Noah hands it off from an on guy to the five. Oh Again, my lays God. out at the five and goes in for the touchdown. Can Vedrill get them six? He wants to throw again. What he does over the middle, pass is caught. Extra effort. Touchdown! Giovanni Haskins holds it in for the Rutgers score, and the Scarlet Knights take the lead. Stula, the punter, over to Crookshank. Really good field position for Rutgers across the 40, across midfield. Here is the speed of Eric Crookshank. Crookshank looking to take it. He loses it. The gun comes up firing. Bo Melton down the sideline. Melton cuts it back. And he'll waltz into the end zone for the touchdown. On first and ten. This throw is picked off. Malachi Melton. Call me Max. Count it. What's up, guys? Julius Turner here. You're watching the Rutgers football story. <laughs> Rutgers Nation. Last year, having no fans. It was horrible. But you guys coming this year and doing a third down chance and just being there and supporting us makes it way easier. So I want to see you guys fill up the stands for the rest of the season. Thank you. That's what it's about, man. I love, I love the fans. I love, I love the whole atmosphere. The fans are very important. Fans are like one of the best things here. I love the fans here. It's going to be real important this year because when we make a big play, we need them fans to get loud and we need that momentum. Snappers takes a snap, drops the throw. Jersey fans.
fans, like, you know, when they hear it, they're going to be loud. You know, it's definitely going to be something that we, we definitely need. It's just, I can feel the energy. Federal throwing it deep right for Bone Mountain, who holds it in for the score. Touchdown of Rutgers, a 28-yard touchdown. When um, we're playing on the field and I come home and everybody looks at their social media and see the fans going crazy, they see them locally and just um, having a great time, you know, just supporting us. Fans just give you so much energy. Corsak is back deep. He's the best punter in America and he's a ridiculous weapon. The fact that they've been so loyal and supportive to me and, and this team since I've been here is awesome and um, I really love the fans and I can't wait to see them. When things are going well in Jersey, this place is really going to erupt. Ruggers Nation, I love y'all. Ruggers Nation, show up, get loud, and get chopping. Chop, always. Down the far sideline, he'll check it in for the Rutgers touchdown. Ruggers Nation, we're back, and we need y'all. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be fun. Go Rutgers, go Scarlet Knights. Chop Nation. What's up? This is number 50, Julius Turner, and you're watching a Rutgers football story. Enjoy it. Let's bang! Let's bang! Let's bang! Let's bang, JT! Set the tone, Bob! Hey, let's get it! Let's get it! Set the tone! Set the tone! Demir Shaw is a very important person to the program. He's a great dude to have have around, even though he's not a coach. He's more of a mentor. Um, everybody goes to him when we need something, when stuff's not going right. So just a good mentor to everybody on the program. He's real cool, and everybody likes him in the program. So great dude. Let's go, Jess! AK! Let's bring it today, AK. Let's go. Let's go now, too. Let's be great, boy. I'm Eric Shaw, Director of Player Development. And it's something my ultimate job is to help these guys um, become the best versions of themselves on and off the football field. Ah. Valentino! Yeah, I try to, you know, do my part in bringing the energy, uh, bringing the juice. These guys go through rigorous, rigorous um, days of practice, right? Sometimes physically and mentally, um, it can be hard to get yourself up and going. Yeah. It's been great today, huh? Make sure we catch up at the practice, too. It ain't bad. You know, I have the freedom to, you know, get out here early um, while everybody's still getting ready, coach the players. Let me know something, Jaja Licious. I missed you yesterday. I, I try to greet guys and, and, and pass off my juice and my energy so that way it's contagious and it spreads like wildfire. Come on, B. Let's get that every rep. Let's go. Strain, strain. Every rep with that focus and that intensity, Mark. Hey! So we're on the football field, you see me running up and down the field, screaming, celebrating, cheering, encouraging, letting guys know it's okay to go hard, letting them know that they have more in them to push themselves to the strain. There you go, five! There you go, five! Make sure you're getting all these reps, right? You play the play behind them. So whatever he's coaching him to do, the same for you. Set the tone, Bob! And then we get up into the health center, it's about the person, it's about the student, it's about the individual, having intimate conversations with them in my office or over breakfast or over lunch or over dinner. Hey, let's get together tomorrow, okay? And talking about real life stuff, right? Helping them to focus on being a better student, being a better man, getting involved in the community, getting them to think about life after football, internships, job opportunities, um, resume building, um, career development stuff. Um, that's what it's all about, helping them reaching their full potential on and off the football field. There you go. Go JT! Way to set it! Way to set it! Let's go, boy, do it again! And I just want guys to go hard because you're going to make mistakes, you just need to go hard, right? And I tell them all the time, their coaches are going to coach the technique, coaches are going to coach the things that they should be doing schematically, right? But I'm going to stay on them about their effort because at the end of the day, if you're not giving great effort, then you'll never reach your full potential. Get back, Urgent. Like, y'all just casually walk back and coach and get back. Everything you got right here. 
You playing? Where did he get the hips around? Sasa? Where did he get the hips around? Sasa? When you decide to go all out, it's so scary, bro. Nobody can block you. It's special. We need that every rep. You got me? Every rep. You know, I've always been a big fan of Rutgers. I've always been a big fan of how Cochiano has developed players and developed the program to be a national championship contenders. And you got to move them together out of there. Together we move him. And I believe what he was preaching. I believe his message and his goal and his purpose for this program. And when we spoke before I decided to take the job, um, it was a no-brainer. I felt God calling me here. So that's what went into the decision for me to leave the NFL and come back to college. Let's go, man. Let's go, come on. You didn't tie shoe? You got it? Whatever they need me to be, whatever they need me to be, I think it's different for each guy. You can steal reps by getting out here before everybody else. If I never seen it, then I won't say nothing, but I saw you do way better effort than that. But I just want to be a resource. I just want to be someone they feel comfortable coming to talk to, someone they feel comfortable sharing things with, someone they don't feel like they, they're going to be judged, and someone who wants to pass down wisdom to them, pass down the experiences and the mistakes that I've made, so that way they don't make the same mistakes that I've made. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, YB! Let's go, YB! Let's go, YB! Are you rock? Are you rock? Too rock? Too rock? Rock, 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 One of my favorite traditions here at Rutgers is the Scarlet Walk. It's the first thing we do when we get off the bus here. We can get a chance to connect with our fans. It's a great opportunity to get us hyped and get us ready for battle. Every time I come from the Scarlet Walk, there's people everywhere screaming my name. Julius, big Jules, good game, good game, have a good game. Man, he's so excited, man. And I just keep doing it. We need it every Saturday, every home game. So every time we get to this area, we touch the boot. Just to show respect to workers, alumni, football players. And as you know, this is the birthplace of college football. Then we go in, head on, and get ready to chop. Also, I had my family here one time. It was like 15 deep. Uh, it was a great experience for them, a great experience for me, because when I saw them, they gave me hype. They had posters, billboards, even little signs for me. So it's just a great experience, and I love it. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights are Big Ten Women's Soccer Champions. I want to start by congratulating Mike O'Neill and the women's soccer team, uh, Big Ten champions, and uh, really, really good. Mike is uh, one of the first people that I saw when I came back here to Rutgers, and he runs a, a, an excellent program, and I'm really excited for him and, and for the ladies there that uh, did a tremendous job. So hats off to them, and, and a big congrats. And Rutgers is going to win the Big Ten regular season. Now we'll get into Illinois. Obviously the bye week is over and it's a game week and uh, looking forward to getting back at it with our team. Every year is different, right? Like what's our health? Where are we from a developmental stage? So I, I kind of have a general idea how we'll do it, but from a practice standpoint, you really have to play it by ear. You know, sometimes you, you end up having a bye week where you bang the whole week. Other times you have a bye week where you're really just trying to get everybody back feeling fresh. I think it depends where it falls and how your team is at the time. Well, I think, you know, as I talk to the players, and I think it's important that everybody, we all understand it, is we're now going into our eighth week and we still have the chance to write the story for the 2021 season, however we see fit, right? We have five ball games left. 
starting with this one this week. And it's in our hands, right? We can have a very successful season or we cannot. And it's all up to us. So if, if anybody wants to talk about anything going on, other play, it doesn't matter. It's up to us. It's what happens in this room, out on those practice fields, and we have to make it happen. And that, that excites me. You know, it, it, we're heading into November, and we still have a, an opportunity to do something special. And uh, it's been a while for that around here, and, and that excites me. Now, what we do with it's going to make the difference, right? That's, that's the key. I'll close by saying we have the pen in our hand. We get to write this story. It's up to us to do it. I'd ask that our fans stick stick with us. It's coming, but uh, I know it can get frustrating. No, no one more than us, but I understand when you follow a team, you don't really have control. So all you get to do is see what they do on game day. And we obviously have more control because we're doing it every day. But uh, the arrow on this program's up and we'll just keep moving. But uh, we need our fans to stick with us. And I, I guarantee our players will continue to work hard. Our coaches will, and it'll turn. Sad to say, the show is almost over, but I hope you enjoyed One it. One guy that you look at on this defense that you're really excited to see. You always can record it and watch it back later. I want to personally invite every single one of you, you over there, you over there, and you over there to the rest of the home games this year. We're working super hard to win these games, and we want to make Rutgers the best college game day experience for football. What a stick. Great tackle on the corner. Get the, and what you did see, Julius Turner actually traced that play. So we got good food at the tailgate. We got the Scarlet Wall. And I, I even heard they passing out TVs now at the game. So I'll see you guys for the last few home games at SHI Stadium. Keep chopping, baby.